yeah, obviously they're posting this on TikTok for attention. No one posts on TikTok just to, just because uh, I don't really care. Uh, no, you want people to see it. Okay, let's just be honest. That's why we all post on social media. You post on social media so that you can share whatever you're doing with other people. Whether you want it to go viral or not may be different, but you're wanting people to see it. What's up, guys? Welcome to Let It Be Heard, where we are doers of the word, not hearers only. I'm your host, Jaden Hurd. And today, we're going to be talking about mental health and looking at some weird TikTok video. Check it out. <laughs> All right, pause it. Pause it. it <laughs> Micah, you knew what you was doing when you gave me this video. All right, go ahead. Oh, come on. There's two of them. I'm a Christian, bro. Like, I'm not going to, like... I can't... Why are you closing the door? I can't. Oh, man. This is hard, y'all. This is hard. I'm trying to be a Christian. I'm trying to mirror Galatians 5, the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, kindness, you know, peace. Self-control is one of the fruits of the Spirit as well. And so... I'm really trying to be a Galatians 5 Christian, not a not a Jesus uh, talking to the Pharisee kind of Christian. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to chill. But um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> um, before I... <laughs> let me just calm down. I'll tell you what. First, before I say anything, first I want to tell you guys about, uh, <laughs> about uh, something here that we promote here, RSBN, which is free speech, right? And protecting your data, which is why we highly recommend expressvpn.com. Have you guys ever wondered how these free to access tech giants make all their money? Well, by tracking your searches, by tracking your video history and everything you click on. Then they build a huge profile on you and they sell off all of your sensitive data. Now, when you use the Express, ExpressVPN app on your phone or your computer or your laptop, you anonymize much of your online presence by hiding your IP address. This makes your activity much more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers. What's more, ExpressVPN encrypts 100% of your network data to protect you from eavesdroppers and cyber criminals. Now, what I like most about it is how easy it is to use. It just takes one click to protect all of your devices, which is why ExpressVPN is rated number one by Tech Radar. So let's stop allowing them to ban conservatives and steal our data at the same time. And let's fight back against this tyranny by going to expressvpn.com slash RSBN. If you hit that link, you get three months free of an annual subscription. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash RSBN. Again, click that link and get three months free. So this video, uh, I saw Libs of TikTok on there. There's some crazy stuff on there. If you guys haven't ever heard of Libs of, uh, Libs of TikTok, what are you doing, by the way? Um, there's been some crazy videos put out lately. I haven't seen that one. I have not seen that one. Um, I'm not going to say anything about them personally, but I am going to say that we do have a mental health crisis in this country. And, um, uh, that is example a of, of that. Um, there are just certain things that you really just shouldn't be putting out on social media. You got to think these people, I mean, that person wants to apply for a job. That person may want to apply to get into graduate school. And, um, I mean, I'm not hiring. If I see that, I'm not hiring them. Like, I mean, look, what you do in your personal time is you. Obviously, we call that sin, and I'm going to call it out. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather you just kind of keep that behind closed doors and not really out for the TikTok world to see. And also, what's with the... Co Again, I'm trying to be a Christian. What's with the collars? Like, and the pulling each other's necks. And, like, are we just... 
not satisfied with just being like human? Like, are we just so bored in 2023? We we're so privileged. We we you know we have the latest iPhones. We have we have anything. We have whatever we want. We have all this food. We are doing so well nowadays. Life is so good that we have to pretend to be animals because we're so bored. That's what we. That's what it's come to. We've now gotten to the point to where we're gonna dress ourselves up as dogs and act like them and 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 howl and pull on each other's necks and lick each other's faces and I'm maybe eat dog food. You know, maybe maybe we're getting tired of steaks and and, and potatoes and burgers and chicken. And we want to really start trying to go back to our roots, I guess, which is be chimpanzees or something, which I reject. I don't I don't believe in that stuff. But nowadays we're just so bored. Why not? You know, we got all this time on our hands, you know, and this is what you call regression, not progression. Right. Like if, if Darwinism was right, uh, we would be a lot further than we are right now. I'm just going to say that right now. What? What? this is more of just them trying to get attention or do you think there's they, they actually believe or, or want to be an animal I think it's both and so like obviously like oh man I'm trying to be a Christian um well you can be a Christian still call out yeah I could call it out but man there's like a I mean there's really I don't know. It's so, uh, anyway. Yeah. So I, let me, let me, but let me ask you a question. Um, yeah, obviously they're posting this on TikTok for attention. No one posts on TikTok just, to, just because, uh, I don't really care. If, uh, no, you want people to see it. Okay. Let's just be honest. That's why we all post on social media. You post on social media so that you can share whatever you're doing with other people, whether you want it to go viral or not, maybe different, but you're wanting people to see it. Okay, it's just that's why you post on social media. So, of course, it's for attention. Now, a lot of comments on our videos, there comments like this all the time. Well, they'll say, Jaden, you're just you're falling for their trick. Like they want your attention. They want it's all just a ploy. I was like, probably, (laughs) probably. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't talk about it. It's a real issue. Now. Are they, are they probably actually, they don't believe they're animals, obviously, but I believe that they do are, they're actually bored. They're genuinely bored and they, they're, they, they just want to have some fun and they think that, that this is what can pass time by. And they truly believe that they can just act like animals because nowadays you can be identify as whatever you want. And that's, that's what they're doing. That's just what they're doing. (laughs) Again, there's a lot of things I'm not saying right now. I hope y'all know that. I know I'm giving off very vague, lame, boring answers. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm being a Christian. So I hope that answered your question. (laughs) The comments though, I mean, y'all, I know y'all go off. Y'all will say, y'all will say whatever y'all say and I'll like it, but I'm I'm not going to say it myself personally, but I will say, I mean, obviously, I hope these women, they're women, right? I hope these women um, just, I mean, look, just appreciate what you got. You don't have to, you don't have to find weird fetishes and, and, and a different niche and you don't have to be the outcast. You can be, you can be just normal, just be a woman, just walk around on two legs, um, eat people food, act like a person. And uh, you'll be fine. I promise. It's not that boring. You know, most of us here do it. I've done it for 21 years. And a lot of people have done it for a lot longer and they didn't get bored of being a human. So, I, I you know, whatever. But if that's what y'all want to do in y'all free time, I, never mind. Don't do that. Just don't do it. <laughs> I'm not going to say you should. Just don't. Um, that's weird. But you, at least they're good. Hey, look, they're happy together. They're, 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 it looks like they're, they're having fun together. <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, you know, we do have a mental health crisis in this uh, in this world, and especially in this country, um, and it's and it's partially because of boredom. It's because we're so like taken care of. I don't know if you guys ever seen Wally. Uh, same thing with those the Wally, like the robot. Everything was so good. They they had all the food they wanted. They can they had everything to their fingertips. They all ended up fat and lazy, way overweight, and weird. And they didn't just they just realized that wait a minute, like all this stuff. 
we have is only hurting us. And, you know, I think Wally is a really good movie. Um, you know, I, of course it comes from Disney. I understand that, but like, you know, the message behind it's actually really good. So uh, I thought, you know, I, I think a lot about that today where we're in 2023, everybody has a cell phone. We have all the food we want. We have all this technology. We have these super nice cars. Like, think about it. Like, a, like in America, like middle class, your standard of living is still luxurious. You have a car. You can go anywhere you want at any given time. Okay, you can, uh, uh, plane tickets, okay, I understand, plane tickets are expensive, but everybody has $300 to spend on a plane ticket, like most most people in this country do. You can go wherever you want, like whenever you want, right now. I can book a flight out of Atlanta right now and go there right now to go to, go to Chicago right now, buy me a pizza and come back. That's just like, I can do that, right? And just the idea of that is, is insane to me. And honestly, sometimes I feel like life would be better if we just did not have that at our fingertips and we just appreciated the people around us, who we are, what we're able to do. But we've been so spoiled, honestly, by our creator, by God, that we've just completely taken advantage of it, right? This reminds me of the Old Testament in Israel. That homeboy, homeboy brought them out of Egypt, got them through all these nations, and while they were disobeying him still, they still end up inheriting the promised land. They inherit the promised land and they're still disobeying him. They no longer want a godly king. They want a king, a man king. And, and it's just like, it's just reminding me, of t- we're, we're constantly getting fed, 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 fed. The, our creator is so kind to us and yet we're taking advantage of it. We're so, we're so blessed, but at the same time, we're, we're turning it back on its heel and we're just destroying ourselves. Um, you know, and... I don't, I don't mean to look too deep into a TikTok video, but that's the reality. Like, like we're, we're acting like dogs now, like legit, we're cutting off our body parts now. And, and, you know, we're, we're identifying as transracial, right? Like we're, we're, ident- like, you know, the stuff like this is just weird, weird stuff. We're, we're calling ourselves smart. We're saying that there is no objective truth. Like reality doesn't exist, which in itself is a statement of objectivity, like, you know what I'm saying? That might have gone over some of y'all's heads, but re- re- replay that again. That was kind of a W comment. Um, but, you know, yeah. And so, and honestly, you know, I, I use TikTok personally. I love TikTok, like, as far as, like, posting my content on there and interacting with my friends. But ultimately, if none of this stuff exists in social media, TikTok, this world would be so much better. I mean, honestly, I remember very vaguely a time without social media. I remember my first time getting Instagram and instantly being obsessed with it. I think I was like 11, 12 years old, right? But before that, I was just trying to hang out with my buddies outside, go hoop and uh, go play ba- go play ball, whatever. But ever since then, y'all, it's gone downhill. You know, that's what's, that's what's happened to the society. And we see example A of that. You know, I, you know it's not, not their fault, you know? I mean, it is. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to be a Christian, y'all. So forgive me. But comment down below what you guys think about it. Thankfully, we're on Rumble. So I don't have to worry about what you guys say under our videos or anything. Uh, say whatever you want. I'm, I'm very eager to see what you guys think about this video. Shout out to Libs of TikTok for exposing this nonsense that's happening on social media. And obviously, you know, you know we, we pray that these people would stop being idiots and just, you know, come to Christ and accept him and, and be born again and be changed from the inside out, born again with the Holy Spirit. And they would no longer be doing that stuff, but they would... I don't know. They're probably lesbian too. You think, Micah? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Licking each other's faces. Guys don't do that to their friends. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you think. Uh, don't forget, go to expressvpn.com slash rspn for three months free of an annual subscription. Um, that's the video. Have a good rest of your week and God bless. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And be sure to hit that follow button and that join button. It'll take you over to our Locals channel where you can further support the show and get access to additional content. God bless.